when it comes to stockpiling ammo, I think we all have some different definitions of what stockpiling actually means. So before we get into how to save money and how to prevent some mistakes with stockpiling ammo, let's get a clarity on what stockpiling means in the, as far as to me in making this video. If you're stocking up on ammo because you like to have some on hand and you need, you know, you just, you know, for example, you're gonna be shooting a lot of nine millimeter, you go on the range a bunch, buy a box of a thousand, things like that. That's stocking up. Stockpiling is more of a, you know, I need to have this many rounds available for when things go bad or you know, it's kind of what are you doing with the ammo? If it's just to have it in case there isn't any more one day or, you know, there's another ammo shortage, that's more like stockpiling. Uh, for whatever your reason, it, it kind of comes down to, or, you know, what are you going to do with the ammo? If you're going to actually use it at the range, you're stocking up. If you're going to save it, you're stockpiling, if that makes sense. So with that being said, stockpiling ammo there's like some common things that, that people say about it. You know, like if, if somebody would say, okay, I want to stockpile ammo, how much do I need? That kind of thing. What I'm going to tell you and what a lot of other people are going to tell you, the basics is have a thousand rounds per caliber. Um, you know, you got a thousand, you know, if you got a nine millimeter, a 22 and a 12 gauge, have a thousand and nine, a thousand and 22 and a thousand and 12 gauge. Uh, that's a good amount to have on hand, but Many of us have many calibers, and I think this kind of this rule of a thousand kind of starts to begin to fall apart. Let me give you an example. So I have my favorite hunting rifle is a 7.5 by 55 Swiss, um, is the bullet it fires. Uh, it's just an old Swiss rifle and a great round. But there was a day where I bought about 400 rounds. I think I bought about a box like 484 or something like that. It was a strange number, but um, I still have most of that around because, you know, I, I only sight it in about once every year or two. And then most of the time I go deer hunting, I don't even shoot a single round. And that's just, I guess, the luck I, <laughs> luck I have with deer hunting so far. But... What I'm getting at is I don't need to stockpile a thousand rounds of 7.5 by 55. So what I'm getting at here is that when you're stockpiling ammo, you kind of need to think about your primary weapons. So for example, me, my primary, my primary weapons would be a nine millimeter, uh, maybe a 22 LR, it'd be a 5.56 and it'd be a 12 gauge. Uh, but I also have 357s, I got two, uh, 270s, I got 8 millimeters, I got, you know, I got all sorts of other calibers, but I don't need a thousand rounds of all of those. So I get a thousand rounds of nine or more. Why not more? Um, 22 LR, might as well go more, thousand or more. Uh, 12 gauge, thousand or more. 5.56, thousand or more. Uh, but 7.5 by 55 Swiss, 400 is plenty. And I guess that's what I'm getting at. I have about, I don't know, maybe a hundred rounds of 357 Magnum. Feels like plenty. Um, this is kind of what I'm getting at. I think if you're really gonna stockpile ammo, I'm gonna recommend in order to save money, you prioritize your primary weapons. Do those first. After that's done, just have a handful on hand for the others. If it's a deer hunting rifle, you know, for example, um, you know, unless you're going to shoot a thousand deer, um, you know, I, I just, I recommend you only have, you know, a couple hundred. Uh, the, it's just, it's a way to, it's just a chance to save money. Now, obviously, if, if you know, you stockpile on your primary ammo and you, that's all done, then go ahead and, you know, stock up on the other stuff. But I just, I recommend you have your prime, you know, to save money, you, your primary guns, uh, those are the ones you stockpile. But I honestly believe you just have like a 30-30, unless that's your primary. You know, a lot of people, 30-30 is their primary gun, and that's, that's a legit gun. So, But if it's not, it's just a secondary gun uh, or a tertiary gun. Like, it's just kind of a gun you have as a hobbyist or occasionally you take a deer hunting like once every five years. 
you don't need a thousand rounds. Something like that, a couple boxes of 20 will get you by for maybe five, 10 years. We all, gun collectors have guns like that. Because the problem is, is with stockpiling on all of it is there's a point where you're kind of, you need to start cycling through some new ammo. You know, your ammo's getting old, you replace it with new over the years, five years go by, 10 years go by, 20 years go by, it, you know, you're gonna waste a lot of ammo. I mean, it, it'll probably be good for a hundred years. You know, how do you store your ammo? Whole other video. That's not what this is about. Store it properly. It, army says it can last up to a hundred years. So that's it. But, but you're probably going to want to cycle it through, I guess is all I'm going to get at is, you know, and if you have a thousand rounds of a certain caliber that you, you know, 10 years later, you've used three out of that thousand, um, you know, you're probably starting to waste some ammo at that point. You're definitely wasting money. So, you know, I, there you go. That's just my two cents on how to save some money while you're stockpiling ammo. Focus on your primary weapons and, and stockpile that. Secondary weapons, have a couple hundred pounds, you know, a couple, have a couple hundred rounds on you. Uh, tertiary weapons, uh, you know, a couple boxes. <laughs> you know, I guess is what I'm getting at, you know. If you're buying a thousand rounds for each caliber, it's just a, it's a straight rule that kind of, preppers will go by, uh, but it's not as straight of a rule as you might think. And I, can't, I that's kind of the point of this video is this rule of a thousand, I just don't necessarily think has to apply to secondary or tertiary weapons because, you know, you're gonna, you're gonna go through life and you're still gonna be going the range, you're still gonna be shooting. And then that thousand rounds of nine is gonna be going down, 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 and you need to stockpile it up. And it's gonna go down, 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 and you need to stockpile it up, and it's gonna go down, down, down. And ideally, that's how life is. That's how life is for me for nine millimeter. But like something like 7.5 by 55 Swiss, you know, I had the same box I bought five, six years ago. So those 484 rounds, I got like 450 of them still. You know, it, it, it's not going anywhere. So uh, consciously think about each gun and each caliber before you go out and jump on the bandwagon. Got to get a thousand rounds per caliber. Before you do that, take a moment, do this. Um, really think about what are the primary guns I'm going to use in life, uh, whether it be this life or a post-apocalyptic life or whatever you're looking at. Um, you know, what's that look like? And if it's a secondary or tertiary gun, you don't need a thousand rounds. Um, so there you go. Any thoughts or insight on any of that, definitely put that below. Do want to take a moment say most people watch this channel, not subscribers. Click that subscribe button. It greatly increases the algorithm um, and our ability to get these messages out. That link is below. But the most important part of this channel is we take prayer requests. So please don't ever, ever hesitate to send that in. Thank you for watching this episode of God, Family, and Guns. And as always, love God, love your family, and love guns.